no information. We were told the water and the air were safe. Now, now they're coming back telling us not to drink the water. So, what is it? And what is going to happen? What will happen for our community? Chinese spy balloon floating overhead. Multiple other balloons they've been shooting down. They're not aliens. That's good. Second train derailment, Houston. I really don't know. I'm not sure what to make of this whole East Palestine situation. Clearly, it is a lot worse than what the, the news is letting on here. Not a lot of coverage. You'd think there'd be tons of people on this. It's not. Unfortunately, yeah, where Norfolk Southern nuked our town. Lots of people sick, animals have died, long term effects on the environment. I don't know. Somebody got to sort this out. Folks, today is going to be a little look at some gas masks. I recently found a major hole in my preparation and that was the ability to breathe if we were gassed which we recently were since the uh, government allowed Norfolk Southern the creator of the biological chemical hazard ecological disaster whatever you want to call it catastrophe Chernobyl-like event. There's a bunch of stuff being thrown around. It's... It made me realize if your community's on the news, it's probably not a good, you know, not a good thing. You don't, you don't want that. My parents live five miles from, from that derailment. You know, their the family farm might be ruined. You know, poisoned, I don't know. We're a little bit further away from it, but still, I mean, who knows what the long-term effects are. We keep talking about a plume floating down the Ohio River. Like, plume's a nice word for toxic chemical stew. Hello, folks. It's Kurt with the Ohio Gentleman Arms. And tonight, I'd like to talk to you about the East Palestine train derailment. This is something that is very close to us. We live in this community. Not in East Palestine, but town over. My parents live five miles from East Palestine, from where the train blew up. We're a few more miles out than that. It's awful. You know, the news is describing it as a Chernobyl-like event. I don't think it would have even gotten any news coverage had it not became a partisan issue over this Pete, the train lord. And through three administrations not regulating it and not regulating the brakes or... or you know, we're going to get rid of the regulations. They're slowing down business. These regulations are bad. We're going to get rid of them. Yeah, that was that was great. I, I don't know uh, what's going to happen. That was the first thing that orange motherfucker did when he got into office was just cut all the EPA regulations that were there from the previous administration. Now, I'm all for laissez-faire capitalism. But when greed and corruption push that to the unsafe conditions for the public, it's not fair. We can't do anything about it. That's where the government's supposed to 
protect us. And they didn't. Natalie's brother lives in East Palestine. He's got a young boy. And his girlfriend lives there, has a shop. Not even a mile from where the train blew up. You know, right in the evacuation zone. They're just back in there. I don't even know. I, I don't know. It's, it's, it's awful. But it made me think about preparation and where I failed. The night of the, the big burn, the big explosion, when they blew up the tankers full of vinyl chloride and their controlled burn, they nuked our town, basically. <laughs> That's what happened. And we didn't have gas masks. And we got the scratchy throat and burnt eyes and really made me think about stuff. Got Chinese balloons floating over and then maybe some hobby balloons getting shot down with a lot of money. Whatever, shoot them down. We're giving Ukraine way more missiles than what we just blew up. It's a weird time. So it led me to this. Some gas masks for the kids. And these are the full rated jobs. Nuclear, biological, chemical, radiation. And these are 20 years, long shelf life, 40 millimeter, you know, NATO standard. Got these, these jobs for the kids. And these ones for us myself and Natalie they got the port for canteen for drinking it's got three ports one in the middle two in the sides and these are supposed to be good pretty good masks I uh I hope so and I got this sucker to put them in I'm putting that in there. We've got some MREs, some emergency rations, just in case. It's getting a little wonky out there with Russia. And I was real proud of the wife. <laughs> she went out and got a bunch of water filters. We're all st stocked up on them. And I'm always ready. We got some bangs. Just in case you gotta stay up. I'll tell you what, these things will keep you up. I don't know what they put in there, but caffeine and some vitamins and stuff. It gets you going. Way more than coffee. Either way, pray for our community. Pray for them folks that their homes are probably not safe to even go to. I don't know what the long-term effects are going to be to the rest of the community, our house. and Norfolk Southern sure put a hurting on our property value. And... All them people's animals, sick, dying, fish in the water, all the people's drinking water. A tenth of America gets their water from that run they just poisoned. It's a lot of folks drinking out of that out of that river. So way to go. And then when I think about some crazy stuff is I don't really remember a whole lot of other train derailments growing up. 
there was a pretty big one, I don't know how many years, maybe a decade ago in Canada. A whole bunch of oil tankers blew up. But just recently, I think there's been three of them in a few weeks. Been a bunch of uh, fires and, and food manufacturing joints, animals. I don't know. I don't want to be conspiratorial, but it seems like there's starting to be a pattern of some some funny business. And I don't know. I want to be ready. I hope y'all are ready. Hope you have a good evening. Sorry to be so depressing. It's just been, I don't know, a wild, wild ride around here. And on that note, we'll see you next time. I'd like to talk to you about the East Palestine tra train. Fuck. Mm. <sighs> mm. Wow, that does really swirly.